Hey everybody, I'm Captain Tommy Scoble and you are on the lifeboat. Uh, ran into some trouble this morning with uh, with sound quality. Um, kind of went in and out with the uh, the boat this morning. Please tell me you can hear me. I'm gonna be looking for a five by five if I could. Uh, if not, I'll be back to the drawing board, but we were able to get um, we were able to get it up and running earlier with some sound. Now, before I get too deep into it, there we go. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Miss D, good to see you. Tammy, I'm glad you're here. Millie, the dandelion, good to see you. Thank you for your, uh, for your help, uh, Millie. Seventh, good to see you. Nicola, glad that you're here. Um, so the deal is this, people. Our, uh, our friend and brother needs prayers badly. Hippie Chick, good to see you. Sherry Fulton, glad that you're here. Tammy, you can, you can lurk. I know you're uh, busy. Our uh, our friend needs prayers, thoughts and prayers. If you're not a prayer, send them positive thoughts. If, if this is something that you don't believe in at all, do me a favor and just believe that he's a hell of a guy and that he needs every uh, great thought that we can get right now. You know, this is, um, I was talking to someone earlier about doing this show and they said, you know, uh, it's going to be hard when to get through it. And with all res due respect to my friend that said that, this is a, uh, Every single day, I watch miracles happen. You know, if you had talked to me four or five years ago, I might not have been such a believer. But the uh, the number of things that I have seen happen in the last five years, six years, have just been absolutely amazing. But I believe really strongly in the power of prayer. If that offends any of you, I'm sorry. But you know what? Uh, his family is out there, and so is our family, right? Um, Jennifer's out there. God bless you, Jennifer. Um, Sharon is out there as well. Uh, Steve's family is there, <clears throat> which is good. It's um, it's awesome that uh, that they're with him. Prayers also, and thoughts and prayers for his family as well. Because you know what, that by um, by uh, Papa Scoville's uh, bed, I remember this so distinctly. It was two thousand and four, um, and someone had said to me, uh, "Could you hold one second? I'm really hoping that was muted. I'm really hoping that was muted. Um, here's the thing, people. I see miracles every single day here, but I am not going to lie to anybody. We need one right now. We need one right now. He, uh, <clears throat> currently he's septic. Now, septic is bad. It really is, it's horrific. But I have seen things that you wouldn't believe. I promise you, I could tell you stories here that I guarantee you wouldn't believe me if I told you. So, um, so we're going to pray for our brother that in spite of this, because you know what? This is really a bad, not, it's awful when this happens, but we're, we're going to come out in force, right? We're going to come out in force. YouTube right now is going through such a freaking struggle of letting people know that things are going up, which is awesome timing. Share this, right? Share this to everybody you know, even if they're not voters, right? We're talking about a really good human being. Thank you, Miss Dragon. That's what I'm talking about. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. I too have. I want to tell you something. Um, I'm a recovered junkie, right? Uh, 
I have, I no longer do, uh, do dope, but I spent a tremendous amount of my life sticking needles in my arms. Um, one of the uh, side effects of uh, sticking needles in your arms is that you get horrific infections. So you're talking to someone who has been septic and come back. Uh, I also know two dozen, I'm not kidding, people who uh, went septic and were saved. Now, sadly, the vast majority of them are no longer with us because they could not get off the, of the trash. But our guy is in, uh, his head's in a great place. Right? We just need his body to be. Uh, and what is happening on YouTube? I have to resubscribe every day. Lady E, there's a lot of that going around. There's a lot of that going around. But I'm telling you, right? It takes a miracle to get sober. An absolute no BS miracle to get sober every single time it happens. And you know what? Those miracles are a dime a dozen. I sat and started ripping off the names of people I know who have experienced that miracle. I could do this for hours and not run out of names. Do you see this? People, this is hope. So that is, this is hope. But, but I don't care what you do. If you're a prayer, get on it, right? You got friends who pray, get on it. Positive thoughts, whatever it is you do, please get on it. Get on it. And you know what? Get used to this. Because when one of ours is hurting, um, Sharon and Jennifer are there. Right? The lifeboat is driving down to, uh, to, to take care of it. Because that's the people we have here. a really easy group of people to be very proud of. Vicki, we love you. Steve, big shout out. We would like you back here as soon as possible. So this septic crap, get it wrapped up, right? A lot of people praying for you, my brother. A lot of people praying for you. So... <laughs> Miss Hermitville, Kentucky. Great to see you. Really appreciate the prayers. It is awesome to see you. Big fan of yours. Cup of coffee. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Oh, I want to tell you, the uh, Papa Scoville, I, I stood much like um, much like Steve's kids are, uh, are standing there now. I was with um, Johnny Scoville. The girl I was dating at the time, a fire-breathing Italian girl. Um, absolutely horrendous person. I would absolutely love that. I would like him to listen right now. The doctor said to me, please do me a favor. I said, sure, what's up? He said this to me and Johnny. He said, I need you to go in and say goodbye to him. Oh, it's like getting punched in the stomach. I was, I was 34 years old. In fact, I had just turned 34 years old. I was not at all ready for that at all. But I went in there and I started talking to my dad. And then we got out and my uh, my mom started yelling at doctors and thrashing around and doing what five foot tall Italian women do when they're in hospitals. And they're not the one who were being treated. She started shoving people around, Steve. You would have been impressed. The uh, But it was funny because I was 34. And when I was 46... Um, I was incarcerated and I called home and I was handed the phone and they said, you need to, to say goodbye to dad. <laughs> and I, uh, I got on the phone. Ah. And I told him what I'm going to tell you, Steve, I'm not quite done with you. He gave me seven more years after that, six more years after that, six and a half. I want more than that out of you. You're considerably younger, All right? It's a lot of people pulling for you right now, brother. 
awful lot of people pulling for you right now. And we're not done with you. We, uh, we need a lot more of you. It's no other way to put it. Steve, we need a lot more of you. So everybody, and I don't, I'm not joking you. Uh, I'm calling people I don't like anymore. That's going to be gross. There's nobody I don't like anymore, people. I'm being funny. But we're calling out the troops. I happen to be somebody that uh, has a, uh, a large um, following of, of friends that uh, fall outside of the boat, the, um, that organize prayer change, things of that nature. If you, too, have a group of people like that, then light them on fire. Right? Get them going. Amazing, amazing research has been done about this. You you have my permission to think I'm insane, right? You also have my permission to try to disprove any of the research because there's a lot of it. There are a group of people on this uh, on this boat, and I just want all of them praying, pulling positive thoughts, lighting candles. Uh, I don't much care what it is that you do, but this is a good man, and we're not done with him. Got a lot more, Steve, that we need. We miss you, Steve. We love you. We really do. And uh, we will be ready for you. Um, I know that there's this pesky crap that you got to take care of, and they're going to be firing all kinds of stuff into you, and it's going to suck. Poking, prodding, they're not going to let you sleep for more than an hour and a half. In there. It's, uh, it's no fun. But... You are uh, one of the strongest people I've met since I started this channel. And that ain't no joke. And uh, no, not for nothing, but I've run into some pretty strong individuals since starting this channel. Something about the boat. Um, people kind of tend to flock here yeah, that, uh, that, that, uh, that have more intestinal fortitude than the next. But you're at the top of that list. True story. True story. We are directing this energy to my friend and brother, Steve Molesky, who's in Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. Um, thank you, Miss D. Thank you. That's what I like to hear. Hippie chick, you got it. There ain't no way around it. There's no way around it. Um, I, I don't do the religious shows, people. You know that. You know that. But I will tell you this. Um, boy, I spent a lot of time studying. I went at religion from a completely different angle than the next person. I really did. I set out to disprove it. I did. I set out to prove why there was no chance in hell there was a God. That was my goal. I was in prison and good and well pissed off. And I wasn't reading books looking for God. I was reading books looking for a way to disprove them. But I'll tell you something, that prayer thing is pretty freaking unbelievable. I'm not a believer because of cool things that people said to me. I'm a believer because I have watched prayer do things that science and no one else can explain. Stuff that I promise you, if I sat here and talked to you about, you'd think half of it was BS. There's a cat that will show up on this boat every once in a while. And the next time I see his name, I swear on all it's holy, I'm going to stop the show. Because he said to me once, you know what? I didn't believe in anything like that until I met you. And I said, well, that's a nice thing to say. He goes, no, no, you didn't do anything. It was watching all of the things that happened around you. Because I, I journal people. Boy, do I journal. I write down the things that I pray for. I write down the things that are going on. Steve Molesky, you're not done in my journal, my brother. You're not. There's a lot of people praying. And there's a lot of people uh, calling in other prayer chains and other groups. I love you, Steve. Vicky, we're with you. Um, thoughts and prayers are not going to stop. I promise you. And it's good to know that we've got our uh, sound back up so that we can uh, keep doing this. Big, huge shout out to Sharon and to Jennifer. You know what? This, uh, this connection thing. Right. It's, uh, boy, there's so many people that say, they're really not like subscribers. It's really more like a family, right? And you just hear, feel that cliche, you just want to vomit. You know what I mean? 
There are people from the lifeboat flocking to our brother. The, uh, to be sure, this is an easy group of people to be proud of. Steve, love you, brother. Ladies, please keep me in the loop. Vicky, we're praying. A lot of us are praying. Squall's praying. We will see you guys on the next one, all right? I love you.